hello friends this is ifa here welcome back to a new video and in this video i'm going to flip through the notebooks i have used as my bullet journal in 2023 I always release this video later in the year but I thought I will film it sooner and give you some inspiration to start your bullet journal in 2024. I will be ranking the themes for this 2023 as well. And here I will show you the notebooks that I've used. I used these two notebooks which is your Buja notebook which I've used in 2022 as well and then this Suki Kuma notebook. I have used it from April and the yearly log. I have set up the yearly log in this notebook. So for the yearly setup, I've used notebook therapist wash tapes and stamp set. I believe it's the happy day collection and I absolutely love it. So for this yearly setup, I've made a cover page, keys page and feature log like my 2024 bullet journal. As you can see that I haven't used the feature log much in the beginning but later I've used it a lot. Then I have this word of the year which was changes. I've talked about this in my 2024 bullet journal where I told you that 2023 was the worst year of my life so yeah i have this peer tracker my period wasn't good enough as you can see here then i have this monthly realization page the monthly realization spread was very cool and i think i will write about this month in the first day of 2024 or in 31st december and then i have my patron page where i have write all the names of my patrons i love as memory of my patron journey and i love my patrons a lot and then I have this content planner, which I haven't used at all. Then I have this last two months shop update and content planner. I knew that I'll be using your Bujo for two to three months. So I set up my yearly log in Sukikuma notebook. And then I made my monthly setup for January in your Bujo. So this spread was very funny for marking out the beginning of 2023 and i've used some printables for my patrons that i made always let's talk about the monthly setups and i will be ranking them out this theme for january is not the best i don't i don't like it at all <laughs> i don't know why but i think blue is not my color even though i tried my best and make it as cute as possible with some washi tapes and doodles from this year you'll see me not using weekly spreads much and only use monthly logs because i wasn't very productive all the weeks and in this bullet journal you'll see all some scribbles for my content planning my shop planning etc so there will be a lot of pages which are not aesthetically pleasing then the february theme was this shabby doll theme i like this theme a lot even though my drawings was not perfect enough but i corrected it in my patreon printables and i've used them in my weekly squares as well and i think this theme is going to be in top five the next month is March and I've made matcha dessert here even though the color scheme was very good and I like the illustrations a lot but I haven't used the weekly spreads here as well as you can see. The next spread is for my shop scribbles. This is the first planning which I have done before I started my shop and here I wrote all the themes ideas, the budget planning for each stickers and also the shipping costs. So I am blurring them out because it's very confidential and I think it should be keep it into me. I've also sketched some of the yearly planning here and also left some pages for my shop planning and then some other pages for swatches and also swatching the products I was given from the other brands like swatching my color, swatching new pens and also swatching all these stamps and washi tape sets. 
so yeah and the back pocket is all empty here because i think i've used all those printables washi tapes that i always stick in the back pocket so that's it for this notebook's journey and this notebook has been used for six months in 2022 and then three months in 2023 and it kind of lasted me three months so january to march then i have made my april bullet journal setup and started this notebook for monthly bullet journal let's move back to the monthly setups in my sukikuma notebook and let's start it from april i think april is one of the top five and also i love these colors pastel pink then brown and the color scheme looks so gorgeous and also the printables for my patron turned out very cute i was very inspired from this theme and i made a polaroid sticker for my shop as well and you'll be find that in my shop as a summer collection even though that should be in a spring collection and here i haven't used weekly spreads again the next spread is my may and this is another cute and pastel color theme which is basically some studio ghibli characters and juice containers so as you can see here the illustrations were very cute and i love the pastel shades a lot in may i have a lot of tasks because i launched my shop in 21st may and the scribbling and doodling was less but i did a lot of stuff in that month the theme of june was sunflower theme and which is basically the summer theme i was inspired from a sticker sheet of mine and i thought i have never done any sunflower theme so in a very easiest way possible i draw all these sunflowers and it turned out pretty well and i think it looks cute as well and i think in this setup i've added the shop update and patron planning page for my setups and still i'm using those spreads as you can see here some of the weekly spreads are missing and i think i wasn't very productive at all and i was very lazy to get up and set up my weekly spreads so the next theme for july was ice cream this is also inspired from a theme for my shop and i think i had gone a very minimal way as possible the cover page was very art heavy but other spreads were just my stickers and some scribbles here and there and here you can see that i've used my pattern printables even though i didn't use it at all but i made it <laughs> the next spread is for my august and in august i only made this large illustration in the cover page and one weekly spread and the rest were just decoration with some stickers and printables for the patrons and i think in august i love this theme as well so i will be take it as a top five theme even though I don't know. <laughs> there, here comes the September setup. In this setup, I've used gouache pins in my bullet journal for the first time, and also I made these large Dutch doors for my wigs. And the chunkiness come from this month, and you'll see that my notebook has been very chunky due to multiple Dutch doors from this month. I love this weekly spreads because I like the illustrations and also the stickers which I've used here like circle and eyelid stickers then the square stickers and also the cloud stickers from my shop and that's it for this September and I don't like this theme very much so it won't be in the top five so I'll skip this here. <laughs> In between my monthly spreads, you'll see me making some shop planning and thoughts page here and there. The next one is my October bullet journal setup. 
for this October monthly spreads. I have wrote all the October challenges like the pitched over challenge prompts here even though I stopped after 12 day due to my illness. I've used alphabet stickers which is very cute and I think October was the worst month for me and I don't like to see the mood tracker here because it's all about saddest days and everything is just too red in my mood tracker so even though I like the theme but I didn't like to look at this page at all I like this weekly spread because I've used it for a long time and I think I like it a lot I made a huge Dutch door here as well I've used stickers from small businesses and my shop and I really really like all these stickers a lot so most of the stickers are from my shop and then Mochi Bujo's shop which is Ikigai Papir then Sleepy Lion House and some kind arts shop so that's it for my weekly spreads here and I love this spread a lot the next theme is in my top two it can be the first one or the second one but i love this coffee theme a lot i made this illustration and i think this is the best illustration i have done in my bullet journal i've used a lot of coffee stained papers in this setup i've used some stickers from my shop then these large dutch doors with my habit and focus then also some chalkboard kind of headers and note spaces then i have my weekly log i absolutely love using this kind of weekly spreads and i love these tabs and the spaces I have done for my weeklies even though I didn't use them and also you can see that here I've added some smaller stickers here and there even in the smaller Dutch doors and for the water tracker I have tracked five weeks together like the level of my water taking was here for the water tracker i have a bottle which contains 500 ml of water and i have spaced three dots or three grids for each day here and is, as you can see all the rows are for each week and i have tracked five weeks here the next is the last month which is december and i think december cover page is my favorite i don't know if i can rank it in top one i will definitely keep it in top two because it's my favorite because of these elements that i made for my shop then the vintage journaling kits i have in my home then this window cutout the board stickers and also this wintery illustration which i've done with my watercolor it's the collage heavy and dutch door heavy spreads because you'll see me making a lot of dutch doors here the tracker spread was like journal into a journal and then i had my weekly spread which is double dutch doors which means that i have made two dutch door spreads in a tab and which makes a one week so it's a huge thing i think and i've made only two weeks here and the rest will be fill up later and yeah that's it and as you can see all the spaces are very long and i can add too much to do's here as i know that december is going to be very very busy for me also i knew that some of the spaces are going to be empty so i've used some printables and the stickers from my shop so that's it for the weekly spreads okay let's talk about the top five i will rank shabby doll theme which is the february theme as fifth then i have my april theme which is fourth then i have my october setup i just love setting up all the spreads at the beginning so i will rank it as third then i have my december bullet journal setup which i will add as the second and the final one is my november autumnal cafe theme because it was my favorite i have used all of the spreads and also i think i like all of the spreads from this setup so yeah 
So the winner is my autumnal cafe theme, which I made in November. So that's it for the whole year's themes. I hope it inspires you for planning out your 2024 bullet journal setup. And yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you like this. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope I'll see you in my next video in a few days. Bye guys.